Microsoft just gave us a sneak peek in the new version of Windows. Yes, and apparently they can't count. Well, yes, you know, we've had Windows 8. We went from Windows 7 to Windows 8 to Windows 8.1, and now they said that we're going to make the jump to Windows 10, bypassing Windows 9 altogether. Yeah, and I guess the reason for that is because there's such a big difference between the 8 version and 10? I think so. I think yeah. when we see Windows 10, it's going to be a stark contrast to Windows 8, so that's why they wanted to jump to kind of tell us that this is a big change. Namely, the return of the start menu. Yeah, so a lot of people were up in arms right when Windows 8 came out because it was completely, it was designed in a completely different way and it was geared more towards touch. That's right, and I, I, I saw the logic that Microsoft was trying to do. They wanted to create uh, an operating system that would work just as good on mobile as it would on laptops. So they created Windows 8, which was optimized for touch, but a lot of people were having problems with this. Yeah. Like right here, we have uh, the Surface Pro 3, and you can see Windows 8.1 is on it. You have the Metro interface, but Lindsay, what people really wanted was this right here, the familiar desktop interface, but there was no start button for them to navigate from. So with this new start button, what they're allowing you to do is to personalize it just as you would if you were operating in the Metro interface. That's fair enough. Now they also are bringing out multitasking. Yes, and anybody that's been using OS X will know the ability to multitask to really just go into a macro view where you could look at multiple desktops, all the applications that are open and to toggle between that, that's going to be available in Windows 10. Which, by the way, we've had on our Macs for many years. I think they got a little inspired yeah. from what was okay. going on in the Apple world and now they're bringing that into Windows 10, which is great because when you're working with so many different apps and programs and say tabs, to get through all that can take time, so having that ability to navigate like that is going to be very beneficial for the end user. And so one other big announcement with that is the applications, is that correct? Well, what they're trying to do basically is they're going to optimize the touch interface. So if you were to unleash this right now, and I'll just have you with the Surface Pro, you can... I'll play Vanna. I can do that. In Windows 10, once it detaches like that, it's going to understand that you're now going to want to touch it as opposed to using the keyboard. So there's going to be optimization for that. But they're not alienating people that still like the traditional keyboard and mouse because you could use that with Windows 8, but it wasn't really optimized. But now with this, whether you like to use keyboard and mouse, touch or a stylus, you have all those different flexibilities. It's going to unify it so that whether you're using it on a mobile device or on a laptop, it's the same operating system, and you choose the way you want to interact Which with Which is it. brilliant. I like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. The more options, the better. Um, it's going to cater to a much larger audience. And so, Andy, when can people expect to see this? Because it's not coming out tomorrow. No, no. It's actually the official build of Windows 10 will be sometime in 2015, probably after their build conference in April of 2015. But the preview... Uh, version is going to be available on October 1st. So we'll get a first chance to see what it's going to look like. Lots going to change. We don't even know what the price is going to be, but October 1st of 2014, you will have the first chance to see the preview build. And we'll keep you up to date on everything that's happening Windows 8. You just have to go to our website. At get getconnectedmedia.com. Or our YouTube channel, Get Connected TV Show. And we want to hear what you think about Windows 8. Did you have problems? Are you looking forward to Windows 10? Let us know your thoughts on the comments. Thank you.